When I decided to learn to fly, I didn't quite understand what to do about ground school. We're gonna discuss options and explain the purpose of ground school in the hangar. Christy Wong. And I'm Dan Milliken. In the Hangar is sponsored by Gold Seal, and it's also sponsored by iFly GPS. And speaking of sponsors, uh, we're very privileged to be talking about Ground School by the people that own groundschool.com themselves, Gold Seal. Nate Tennant, thank you so much for coming on. Yeah, it's an absolute pleasure to be here, guys. Uh, as you know, we're, we're huge fans of, of you all and have been fans of the show for a long time, and it's uh, it's our pleasure to, to be a part of all this. I, I will say this. When I asked Russ, uh, still the, the, the chief of uh, Gold Seal, if, if somebody could come and be on the show, he was like, well, let me ask Nate. He's not too far from there, but I don't think he'll do it. <laughs> so I, I, I'll confess he said that. But then when you responded, you're like, yeah. Yeah. Like, as, as I said, I'm a huge fan. Um, and yeah, I, I try to work with Russ. Uh, as I've been with Gold Seal for about seven years now, mm -hmm. give or take. Russ and I um, met up back when I was a, a CFI in Atlanta. And um, we've kind of, I, I worked full time for several years and uh, for the last, uh, I guess, three or four years, I've been flying corporate and then to the uh, 121 side on the side. So um, I juggle my time between, you know, fly, between flying jets and, and flying, uh, flying a desk for, for ground school. And I, I love both. It's awesome. Um, it's uh, it's an awesome place to work, and I'm happy to be here, and I'm happy to be with you guys. So awesome! Well, I jumped at the opportunity. We are huge fans of you as well. Why don't you tell us a little bit about Gold Seal as a company? Sure. So Gold Seal um, was dreamed up in 2005 by by Russ Still. Um, he's a master CFI in Atlanta. He uh, he used to run a ground school. He used to have a, a his own flight school there in Atlanta. Um, so he he's been and around. Uh, the flight training business for a very long time. And in 2005, I kind of noticed that there wasn't anything online for people to do. And so dreamt up in 05, launched in 06, which made us the, um, the first online ground school uh, ever. We actually, we were, we were ahead of King Schools, we were ahead of some of the other ones. And the benefit of that is it's really given us a lot of time to, um, to mold this, this program into something like really, really awesome for, for, new, uh, for new pilots coming into the industry or, or just uh, private pilots well, out there. All right, let's start, let's talk about ground school sure. you know, as a whole for all pilots. For student pilots that are just beginning, I know you mentioned at the top of the show, um, for me, I didn't quite understand what ground school was about. I didn't understand what I had to do. For the, the person thinking about becoming a student, describe to them what is ground school and why do they need it? Yeah, so um, that's, that's a huge thing that happens um, to people trying to learn to fly because it's when you're with the CFI and you're in the air, everything's very cut and dry. And the ground school... Uh, you have to pass uh, a written test, of course, and but the ground, how you pass the written test and how you get that endorsement that you've done the uh, right amount of ground school, um, there's kind of different ways to skin a cat on that one. And, and it's not quite as cut and dry as when you're up in the air with your CFI. And so what Gold Seal does is it really structurizes that, uh, that ground school and really has a full vast coverage of everything that you're gonna need um, not only to pass your written test, but to make you an exceptional pilot in the air with your CFI and, uh, and to pass your, your ultimately pass your check ride. So um, when I was a student and I decided to learn how to fly, I, I literally, I went straight to the books yeah. and cause I was learning part 61. So I, I got the, you know, the, um, ASA books, you know, the P hack yeah. and, and everything and the airplane flying handbook. Mm -hmm. And I just started reading and I got the far aim and I literally just started reading. Yeah. So you're telling me that. Yeah, doesn't it feel like you're drowning? Yeah, a little right? bit. It did. Absolutely. But I mean, I, I did it. That's exact. That is what I did though. I did not use a ground school course. Well, in, in my school, in my case, and this is, you know, five years ago, so relatively recent, um, I showed up, I didn't know what was expected or anything else other than I want to get a, a pilot's license. Didn't even know it was a certificate, you know, yeah. for those that get been out of shape. And I remember handing him my money and he gave me a stack of books 
and and told me to pick out the headsets and I had to buy those and and you know a far aim a p hack you know everything in there and a three ring binder by the way of some stuff and I took that away and I didn't quite understand he just said bring this and this back the next day so I brought the binder and went and in the binder they had Xerox her own kind of little course but um I didn't know I could go online and yeah. and and walk through it and that kind of stuff and and yeah yeah, a lot of people don't. And I, I had the same experience when I first uh, first got into aviation. Uh, it was the same kind of thing. I, I got the same stack of books. I'm sure everyone does. Uh -huh. And I remember that first day, you know, laying all those books out and being like, holy cow, how am I going to get through this? Like, well, I was excited. I, I was excited, I was excited too, I was of course. Like, oh, I get to yeah. fly. I'm going to become a pilot. Look yeah. at these. They make me a pilot. Absolutely. I, <laughs> I took the, the eat an thing. elephant approach. Yeah, you know? exactly. Like, and that's what everyone says, right? Time. Of course. Um, but... Going online and being able to interact with those books, you know, in a way where it's not it's not just reading and highlighting and talking about it with a CFI. It's it's actually interacting. It's actually doing. It's listening. It's it's um, getting those things explained to you, and then being able to then take that explanation and practice it in the software uh, is such a such a faster way to. Um, comprehend all of that knowledge that you have to know and it's such an i i an easier way to um to kind of manage all of that i we took the elephant approach too right you know yeah. one bite at a time right and so and and that doesn't change because it's the same it's the same amount of knowledge whether you're doing it in a stack of books or you're doing it on an online course the the knowledge is still the same that you have to know so it's still definitely um you know a, an undertaking but being able to organize it in a way that and see your progress and see how far you've come and see the quizzes that you've taken and see, you know, kind of the progress bar of, of how far you've come along, I feel like is a good motivator. And it's a very good um, kind of way to judge your progress and, and get motivated again as you go. Because I know for me, when I did the program long, long ago, when I first started working with Russ, um, just being able to see what I had accomplished was was huge and it almost gamifies it it, it does like. it absolutely gamifies it okay. absolutely yeah we need we need to gamify more things i think um so as far as the purpose what i tell my students as a cfi is not only yeah there is the written portion but you need to be able to apply a lot of what you read what you learn in the airplane there's a lot of stuff that you don't think you need to know that when you're sitting in the cockpit you're definitely going to need to know so for me that's the purpose of uh, of these online ground courses. Yeah, of course. And it, it'll save you a ton of money in the airplane with your CFI. Because when you, as, as any CFI will attest, uh, a student that comes prepared is, is so much easier uh, and it makes the day go so much better. And you can focus on the things you need to focus on and you're not backpedaling all the time to relearn or reteach a certain a certain thing. And it's good for both parties. The CFI uh, has a better chance of explaining what what they're doing in the air, and then the student um, comes better prepared and better knowledge. So are you saying ground school isn't just to get pa get a pass on the written? It's not. That's so the, uh, a lot of it is to to know the subjects for the written, but um, hugely is the check right at the end, the oral that you have mm -hmm. to take on the private pilot ride, right? So after you take the written, you still need to be working ground school. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because the any any pilot can attest the the oral is is no joke. Yeah. Um they're gonna test you on everything. And if you start to slip, they're gonna it, it's the old uh the old proverb, right? Where it's um a, you know, the examiner holds up a pen and says, Do you know what this is? The answer is always just yes. Right. It's yeah. not, oh, that's a pen. Right. Because then he's going to ask you more about the pen. What right. does this do? How does this click? Yeah. The question was, do you know what it is? Yes, I know. Yes, I know. Exactly. That's it. And so absolutely. After you take your written test, keeping up with your ground school is is important. And even after you've passed your check right and you've gotten your private pilot license, what does every pilot need to do every two years? Right. Get a biannual flight review um, that even going back to the test, uh, to the to the ground school, and kind of refreshing your knowledge. And there's certain things, and then being able to interact with those things. Like I said, if you come across something in your um, flying later on, you know maybe you haven't flown uh, 
VORs, which you like so much. Uh, if you haven't flown a VOR approach in a while, or if you haven't uh, tracked a VOR radial in a while, um, or you haven't done a hold in a while, you can go back to that ground school and you know retake that lesson and re do everything to see, uh, to kind of refresh your own knowledge. And I think that's huge. We as pilots are always learning, right? Um, doesn't really matter if you are a triple seven captain with 35,000 hours or you know, you're know you a brand new student. Everybody, Everybody's learning something every day. And if you're not, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> okay. Uh, what sets Gold Seal apart from some of your competitors? So what Gold Seal strives to do is we strive to create an interactive multimedia platform that appeals to all the different kinds of learning styles. As any CFI can attest, like we said earlier, um, everyone has a different kind of learning style. For me, I'm mostly a kinetic learner. I need to do something to really learn it. Some people are auditory learners, some people are visual learners, some people um, kind of need to, um, need to go out there and do it. But what Gold Seal has tried to do and what we've developed over the last 15 years is a really fully immersive interactive program with all kinds of different ways to, uh, to transfer knowledge. And that's what really sets us apart. We're not just a bunch of talking head videos that are gonna mm -hmm. explain something with the PowerPoint or um, you know, just do a quick YouTube tutorial of, of what it is. It's really gonna soak you in and really make sure you understand each, uh, each individual topic. Yeah, the, the thing for me is I am a visual learner. And what I really love about this ground school is the animations. The 3D animations demonstrate the plane and 3D space and what's happening in the, the, aero, the, the physics and everything else to where I can see it and it helps so much better. So the 3D graphics, um, I really like what Russ and the team did to create those. It makes a huge, huge difference for me. Yeah, our team over the last, just over the last probably four or five years, our team has started to grow quite a bit and we've been able to bring in a lot of talent that can create those kinds of, uh, those kinds of videos and those kinds of lessons. And uh, the stuff that we're pumping out right now is, is really awesome. Would, yeah, I can't wait until the IFR hits. And um, when I went through my instrument, um, I did it. I did an online course. I didn't from private because I went through their notebook. Mm -hmm. But for my instrument, I went through a, a different one, and it it was it was very old information and a very old presentation, an old style presentation, and um, that's why I went looking through Gold Seal, and um, it's just it's refreshing. It's it's new. It's uh, I really love it. Yeah, you yeah. have a program for CFIs to use with the ground school. Can you talk about that a little bit? We do. Okay. So um, that's one of our huge mm. elements of Gold Seal is that if you're a CFI, you have access to our private pilot ground school for absolutely free. You, have, you can come in, put in your CFI number, and you have access to the ground school oh, cool. for free mm -hmm. for as long as you want. Um, there's no strings on that at all. Come in, you've got it if you're a CFI. And the reason that we've done that is because with our program, if you're a CFI, you have, your, you have the ability to track your students' progress. So you can sign on students, um, whether, you're, whether you're part 61 at a mom and pop or you're just doing it kind of on your own as a, as a freelance thing. Um, however you're a CFI, or even if you're uh, part 141 or doing it at another school and you wanna supplement whatever um, program the 141 uh, program has, um, you'll be able to track your students and um, check on their progress and give them homework and see where they are. And it gives you a much better idea of lesson planning when you've got a much better um, base knowledge of where your student's at in the program. So that's huge. We, we, we love CFIs. Uh, last Sun and Fun, we took uh, a few of our CFIs up in the DC3 and um, we, we love our CFIs, so yeah. Awesome. Well, we love you too. Cool. Thanks. <laughs> well, and finally, it's fairly easy, but explain to people if they want to find out more about Ground School uh, and Gold Seal, where do they go and to see if it's a fit for them? So super easy, onlinegroundschool.com. Very, very simple. So onlinegroundschool.com will give you the link to all of our different programs, um, and you'll be able to test drive any of those that you want. You can take a few lessons for free on any of them, because I think it's, it's huge as a pilot when you're learning to make sure you've got a program that works for you. There's, there's so many horror stories mm -hmm. of people, um, 
losing interest or losing that passion, that drive of wanting to be a pilot because they had, you know, uh, a crappy ground school or, or, or just bad instruction in the first place. And that could either be a CFI in the air or just overwhelmed by the, by the book work. Um, and so you really need to find a program that works for you and go to groundschool.com, go to online groundschool.com um, and try it out and see if it works for you and see if it's something that um, is going to fit your learning style. And I think uh, there's a little bit for everybody there. And our viewers can actually get a free trial, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. How can they do that? So onlinegroundschool.com. Um, and then actually any, anyone can. So anyone can go take a free trial and, and log right in. Okay. Great. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah. Really appreciate you. having you. All right, you guys, if you have questions about uh, ground school, leave them in the comments below. Uh, like, subscribe, share, and we will see you next time. In the hangar. So, so we had a, a former client, actually happened to be a friend of mine, she's a medical doctor, and from a qualification standpoint, she meets, she's excellent in every category, credit, income, and, and she happened to have her mortgage with a, a particular Midwest bank and had wanted to take advantage of the rates last year, had initiated the refinance process and was four months into the process and hadn't even come out of underwriting. And we were able to refinance her rate at the same great rate she was getting from the bank, you know, and we were able to do it end to end within three weeks.